yeah, the purpose for this is to obviously min-max damage, but the more we learn about these buckets and the more we learn about vulnerability, it kind of shows us, or not shows us, but it's giving us a little bit of insight to what the future meta is going to be. And right now, it's looking like any class or spec that doesn't take advantage of vulnerability is just going to be extremely underpowered or at a at a, at a significant handicap compared to some of the other classes. Not only does it give you 20% extra damage, it's also in its own damage bucket. One of the biggest issues with ranged rogue is its lack of vulnerable application. The only way you can apply vulnerable from your skill tree is through forceful arrow. We're ruling puncture out because if you're trying to play rapid fire and penetrating shot at range, this is going to be kind of kind of wonky because you have to let because the when you use puncture, you've got knives that fan out, and it's difficult when you're at range to have at least two blades hit or not difficult, but it can be a little wonky. It's not the best. Really leading you into forceful arrow. Well, if forceful arrow is my only option, this works well with combo points. Now it's leading you into playing combo points. So it's like right now, ranged rogue, you're being encouraged to play combo points and you're being encouraged to try and figure out ways to get vulnerable application. Outside of Forceful Arrow, you only have Concealment and Shadow Imbue. Shadow Imbue, not going to happen with single target boss fights. This is more mainly for leveling. You really want to go Poison, late game, end game. Forget about Shadow Imbue. Then it's only Concealment. Concealment, like we just said, isn't going to be super consistent. Sure, the 6 second vulnerable application is great. But on a 20 second cooldown... Okay, so it's like, okay, well, how about we reduce the cooldown on this? Well, then the game leads you back to Twisting Blades, which is the only skill that reduces cooldowns. But then you're like, okay, well, maybe we don't take combo points. Maybe we take preparation. And the way preparation works, which is the third combat stance, every time you use 100 energy, hear me out, hear me out. Every time you use 100 energy, I'll pull this up so that you can see it. 100 energy, you reduce your ultimate skill cooldown by 4 seconds. And then ultimate skills reset your cooldown. So in order for me to reset this cooldown, I need to use an ultimate. But in order for me to use an ultimate, I need to reduce that cooldown. So first of all, trying to reduce, trying to reduce an ultimate's cooldown, which is going to be 45 seconds to a minute, trying to reduce that by 4 seconds by burning energy just so that we can reset concealment. It's First of all, that's not going to be that easy. Second of all, what does that require? It's going to require us to spam our energy pool, right? Well, that's kind of an issue for ranged rogue. If we look at the key passive, you know what gives us energy regen? The melee key passive. You know what the ranged key passive gives us? More crit. So the way ranged rogue is designed and the reason why it's fundamentally weak right now compared to melee is because it does not synergize well with energy regen and vulnerable application. That's the biggest issue. The best ranged skill for energy regen is rapid fire. Look at this, rapid fire right here. It gives a and it <laughs> And it gives you 15 energy per cast. And guess what it needs to do that? It needs vulnerable. Okay. So outside of that, the whole reason why we even started discussing this is because of the importance of vulnerable. Like we're watching in this new video, this guy tested further testing these damage buckets. I went over this in my most recent video, the importance of identifying damage buckets and diversifying your damage. And it's very clear that vulnerable is one of the most important multipliers in the game because it is within its own bucket. The more we're learning, the more we're testing, the more we're pretty fucking sure that vulnerable is its own bucket. So not only does a vulner not only does vulnerable give you 20% increased damage, but it's also the best multiplier in the game because it's with it because it's not additive to anything other than itself. So any spec that doesn't synergize well with vulnerable is just going to be behind. Now, on the other end, the reason why I tell my viewers that 
ranged does have potential is because ranged rogue does synergize with crit and crit damage. So if you can find vulnerable, then it has a lot of potential. So right now, the only option is forceful arrow. The more we learn about these damage buckets, the more we learn about how important vulnerable is, that seems to be the reality of it. And unless we see legendaries or other things that allows ranged rogues to get that vulnerable application, it's it's going to be difficult. It's it's going to be difficult. And it could be indirect too, guys. Like may, maybe it maybe concealment is enough. Right? Well, here. Maybe concealment is enough. But then we're going to have to have some kind of we're going to have to have better energy regen in order to take advantage of preparation. And maybe that that may, maybe that is the case. Maybe that is, you know, like we have to see end game. I'm not jumping to conclusions. I don't tell my I don't tell my viewers that ranged rogue is under power. It's going to be under power at the end game. I'm just letting you guys know this is the reason what one one of the reasons why at this moment I'm a little bit not concerned but skeptical about it. We need to see more. We have we, we just have to see more in the legendary department. I'm not going to include barrage into this. Okay, you do get brought you do get vulnerable with barrage, which is why when you guys are asking me, hey, is barrage viable? I think barrage is very viable. Anyways, that that that's that's kind of what I was talking about, chat. The, the main, I mean, this goes back. We were specifically talking about rogue, but TLDR guys, uh, any any build or spec that struggles with applying vulnerable or doesn't apply it at all is just going to be vastly underpowered. It's just, it's just the way it is. Vulnerable is extremely strong. Oh,